Today is November um, 18th, 2023. Uh, this is kind of like a two-year review of the uh, T-Mobile 5G uh, home internet gateway. This one is manufactured by the OEM is uh, Nokia. Basically, uh, it does work very well for me for the last two years. There's no contracts, no data limits, um, and a fixed $55 a month. And uh, I set this up back in um, August 23rd of 2021, so it's, it's over two years old. And if you're not aware, hardware changes rather quickly in technology. Amazingly, this thing has worked very well for me. Uh, the only issue I had with this is the uh, battery. And what happened, it, there, there was a battery, it's plugged in, uh, but it doesn't serve anything. If it was a power outage or anything like that, I would lose my home internet. Uh, basically, I came up with an alert that the battery wasn't charging. So what I did is I shut it down, turned it upside down, and basically removed the SIMs, then removed the bottom and slide it out, and just unplugged the battery. That's all I did. Uh, it didn't serve anything on there. Now, if you still have this device and you're seeing that, I have a link to, uh, to a YouTube channel, Tater Nader, and basically in his YouTube, he's actually in, installed an external antenna on it. And a lot of people did do that when they got this first uh, gateway from T-Mobile. Now, uh, what I'm going to uh, do here, and when I put it all back together, I put uh, in the sim, the last thing, and everything worked fine, and the problem went away. The battery just really didn't serve any use. There is, and you see here, uh, an Ethernet cable. Uh, I've had use it to connect it to old PCs that needed to be uh, restored, and um, uh, just helping someone out, you know. So, um, and it's got two active uh, Ethernet cables. There's a phone jack on the back as well, but that isn't used for anything. The display, and let's see if I can get closer to it, is right there. And um, if I tap it, uh, you might see, of course, three out of five bars. But for me, it's extremely fast from where I normally use this. And it's, and it's still decently fast when I go to the most farthest end of the house uh, to use, uh, to connect to this device. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is show you the latest hardware that's just been released by T-Mobile uh, for the uh, T-Mobile 5G. And it actually has external antennas, and I will show you that on a computer screen. Uh, and uh, I'm going to include a lot of links in here to help you if you want to find out if, if you have coverage in your area. There's two maps. One is the uh, federal broadband map, which I find in rural areas extremely accurate. And uh, also the T-Mobile one. And I would go over to T-Mobile if they say you got the coverage. Uh, I actually experimented and took this to a different room, a sunroom, but it's not, it's not temperature controlled. So it's not like you, you want to do it in the spring or summer. It would be, uh, it would overheat. But when I put it in there, I had five bars out of five bars. But this is the best spot, uh, in a, you know, uh, living room window out towards the street. Uh, your situation may be different depending on where you, if you're living in a rural area or an urban area. Anyway, and this is what it looks like. So give me a moment. I will switch over to uh, go to my PC and um, we'll go through some other information. Hello, 
and um, I'm over here at my PC and I'm about to turn it on and give me a moment I'm just waiting for it to start up. This is Google Chrome OX Flex. It's it basically turns a very old Windows PC to a Chromebook. And uh, I'm about to show some Im images of the new device that has been released by T-Mobile, which has an external antenna for the uh, 5G uh, home base cellular internet. Okay, and give me a moment. I'm going to sign in and set up. Before going further, I'm about three rooms away from my uh, my T-Mobile uh, 5G with this uh, PC. And I am going to run a uh, test. I selected the nearest internet service provider to me the last mile. I don't have any other devices other than this. It's connecting. Let's see what the speed is on the, this day. One moment. Well, one thing's for sure. Well, one moment. Okay, I hate these pop-ups, but there's my uh, up, my download speed and my uh, upload speed. My upload being 12.65 megabits. And my uh, download being 116.04. Uh, this is on, of course, on a Saturday. And um, uh, November 18th of 2023. Anyway, uh, now for the next uh, few screens. Just a moment. Okay. Uh... I did forget to mention that when I set my uh, T-Mobile 5G um, cellular home base internet, there wasn't a charge for connecting to the T-Mobile network when John Ledger was the CEO. Now that has changed with the new CEO and somewhere between 30 and $40 uh, if not just just for the setup on uh, the uh, home cellular uh, home cellular internet network for T-Mobile, but it also if you're making changes to your T-Mobile phones or other various changes. Now uh, I've got several screens here I want to share with you, uh, and I got the the all of these listed in the notes. And uh, just to uh, help you out, this what you're looking at is the FCC, the FCC uh, National Broadband Map, and uh, the reason uh, I bring this up is you would input your address into that, uh, and as you type slowly, it may auto populate with the correct address. You would just click on that. It would take you to the where, where your physical location is. And when you do that, uh, 
the page will load first with the uh, fix home internets uh, HughesNet, Viastat, uh, the one from SpaceX um, that uh, Elon Musk has could have uh, also AT&T or, or uh, Comcast or other or Spectrum or other service providers there is also a tab for cellular and when you click on that it will show you the cellular coverage in your area with all major carriers and that, that being AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile uh, the other ones, Cricket, Mint Mobile, uh, Consumer Cellular, you would have to check with them uh, because it won't be listed under the federal. But I would recommend going to this first, uh, and I have a link to it in the notes field, to uh, use this. The second link I have in the notes, and I'm going to it now is the T-Mobile uh, uh, the T-Mobile 5G gateway for the G4AR and G4SE uh, hardware and they actually have an image of the front and back of it give you an idea the front is pretty much it, it you know and this would be uh, your home base. Now, as far as the uh, back, which is also on the same web page, it has a breakdown of all the connections on the back. It actually has four antennas. I would just guess that this is a uh, two for four G and two for five G. But this is something that uh, uh, a lot of uh, T-Mobile customers have been asking about that they, they don't see that now uh, the other link I'm going to show you and I uh, and I like I said all of these I have the links for this is a YouTube channel uh, uh, Tater Nader channel and this is a DIY where he is taking the silver uh, the first device uh, adding an external antenna and basically he is showing you how to open it up and uh, first first act is uh, you need some tools that will work with this but from the bottom you just basically take out the sims card and be careful when you move it out because the configuration is important and then take the other screws out and you can slide it out gently and once once you get that top off you will see the battery if you need to uh, if you're having the issue with the battery showing up on the display on the top all you have to do is unplug it uh, a quick fix is uh, plug and unplug it and I mean unplug it and plug it and that message you would see would disappear however I just recommend unplugging it because it does it doesn't do anything if the if the power goes out so does your internet it, it just, I don't know why they just plugged it in, but uh, I guess that was some Nokia or T-Mobile, one or the other. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, the one link, if you do have coverage, and you want to find out if you have coverage, not not just from the, uh, not just from the, uh, uh, the FCC broadband coverage but this web page at T-Mobile has there is a tab that says check availability and all you have to do is plug in your information your address mainly and they can tell you have the coverage or not and uh, especially for this device which like I said uh, showed you the two images uh, are also shown here as well and basically I just opened it in a new tab but uh, like I said uh, I would steer you to this particular device they've actually released since this one uh, two other devices uh, th this would be the fourth one in two years 
but this one I, I would uh, definitely go and they also have an antenna uh, system as you stroll down the web page you can check out anyway I thank you for your time I am a bit of a slow speaker and uh, all the links that I mentioned all these images uh, you can view from the links I have in the notes field of my of this YouTube video. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.